In this tutorial, I will go over some formatting basics for MLA and APA styles. I am using Microsoft Word 2010. Both MLA and APA require the font Times New Roman set at 12 point font size. You can access the font options under the Home tab. In the top left, you can expand the font options and click Times New Roman. Right next to that are the size options where you would click 12. Margins are required to be one inch all around. They are located under the Page Layout tab. Expand the Margins options and select the one that shows one inch all around, which in this case is normal. Both styles also require double spacing, which is located under the Home tab. Under Line and Paragraph Spacing, which you can see by hovering over this icon, and then select 2.0. Or you can select this icon next to paragraph, go to line spacing, and select double. You'll also need to set your spacing before and after to zero, and then click OK. In both APA and MLA styles, your text will be aligned to the left. The alignment options are located in the Home tab in the paragraph section. To align left, you would select the Left Align option, which aligns it with the left side. If you want it in the center, select the center icon, and then if you want to align it to the right, you would select the Right Align icon. You will also need to add page numbers. MLA research papers require page numbers in the upper right corner. Many instructors will ask for your last name followed by the page number. On the first page of the paper, select the Insert tab. Select Header from the Header and Footer section of the Insert Ribbon. Then select Blank. Now type your last name and hit the space bar. Then click on Page Number and then select Current Position and then Plain Number. Now select the Home tab, Align Right. APA research papers require an abbreviated version of your research paper's title followed by the page number in the top right corner. So follow the same steps, but put an abbreviated version of your title instead of your last name. And that concludes the steps for basic formatting of an MLA or APA research paper. For more help, contact a Gavlin librarian. Also, be sure to check out other tutorials listed under Research Assistance on the Gavlin Library homepage.